Before we get started with today's interview, just a quick reminder, click the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so that you don't miss any of the great interviews that we have coming up. Now on to today's interview. Welcome back everybody. I'm really excited to present my special guest today, Kai Ono. He is a New York City based singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, composer, and music educator. Welcome Kai, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, Sam. Your book that's on the Federation list is all about birds. Well, the title suggests that it's all about birds. But um, I have taken to understand from what you have just said to me that perhaps it's the pieces aren't really actually about birds, but perhaps about people in your life. Um, so you draw some inspiration from people in your life. But what other things really kind of inspired you and inspired these pieces in the book for the little birds? Sam, you're probably the first person to figure that out without me saying anything. Um, yeah, I love birds. Um, I do happen to like people more. Um, and the pieces are, I guess, birdifications of people in my life, all of them. And as far as the more educational pieces go for like a primary level in For the Little Birds, I wrote these with students in mind because I wrote these, a lot of them, originally when I was looking for a specific recital piece for a student, but just couldn't find a piece at the exact difficulty. So I just wanted to write something for them instead. And so those pieces are for that student. And definitely, it's, even though some of them I wrote a while ago, probably as old as six seven years ago, I still remember who each one of them are, for sure. <laughs> I loved listening to these pieces and sight reading through them because they all sound very modern and they do not sound childish. They sound very mature and they have a sophisticated sound to them. And I immediately was struck by the fact that this would be a perfect piece for a student who's perhaps an older beginner who didn't come to piano until seventh, eighth grade. I also have adult students who are always looking for something that doesn't sound childish, but that is simple enough. And I think that these pieces are just so wonderful for this purpose. I also heard echoes of Studio Ghibli, perhaps in some of this, and it's just, I love how you have channeled that sound. And I have a lot of students who are very big fans of anime and come in asking to play music that's in that genre. So I think this book is going to be tremendously popular in my teaching studio. I'd like to take a little bit of time to focus in on one of the pieces in that book. It's when a kingfisher watches the river flow by. And for each of these pieces, you've given us some really nice notes and some thoughts about each of these birds. Um, and here you said that kingfishers are excellent hunters. And, and this one is watching the river waiting for some food. Talk to us about some of the things that students should be focused on while they are playing this piece. What I would want a student to focus on for each piece, and that includes the kingfisher, is going to depend on the age of the student. I think for some students, if I'm giving this to a pretty relative beginner and also a very young student, I might be just be focusing on the simpler execution portions while also just listening to it. I a lot of times just want students to tell me if they like the song and if they don't, then just like how, how it makes them feel. Very simple, just like how does it make me feel kind of questions. And as far as the creative suggestions go, I'm very open with all my students changing pieces. If I have a student and they come up to me and they've tried the original, they've given it a chance and they don't like it and they have a strong idea for how it should be instead, I let them change it every time. Of course, it won't fly at a festival. I, I strongly encourage all my students to be listening ex to exactly what they're playing and how they are responding to it so that they can really make the piece their own. And that goes with my pieces as well. I have no problem if a student looks at a piece and is like, I don't like this part. I want to change this note to this note. Great. I love it. And then they perform it like that. I'm very happy with that. I love that you're encouraging active listening among your students. And I love that you're encouraging that that improvisation, that chance to sort of spark their own creative voice that way. And that's just, I think that's really a wonderful and very cool thing. 
What were some challenges that you faced when you were writing Kingfisher? Since Kingfisher is the easiest one in the book, the Kingfisher's probably greatest difficulty in writing it was making it the easiest song. Um, I wanted to create some sort of Ionian modal sound to it, but it's sometimes really hard to get songs to be really modal sounding without forcing finger position changes a lot. And that can, as you know, that's the stuff that quickly makes pieces very difficult for a student that's like six or seven years old. So I had to limit the amount of motion in the hands as much as possible, but then I still wanted it to at least not sound patronizing. That's probably the most difficult thing I've faced in writing these songs. And it's partially just because I really care about piano lessons for younger students not feeling like I'm just babying them. Uh, and I think that's partially why the books also work for adults is because they're not very patronizing and condescending. And that also comes in, I think, the visual artwork. I'm very lucky to have a friend of mine, Faith, who did these beautiful drawings that I feel like aren't just like ch children's book drawings. Like, I, I love art like that, that just kind of crosses all age groups. And I feel like ultimately the best stuff out there is the stuff that appeals to all of these age groups. So, Kayono, thank you so much for joining us today. Kayono's book is For the Little Birds. It's available from mymelodies.com. We'll make sure we put a link down in the description so that you can go and pick up a copy of this book for your studio. Kai, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Sam. <laughs>